Hello, welcome to Self-Aware Devices. If you've seen on my channel, I've tested the NVIDIA Justin TX2 with some vision work samples that it was running six samples at the same time. Now we'll try the same test on both NVIDIA Justin TX2 and also NVIDIA Jetson AGX Xavier. Let's start by entering the directory. These are the samples I tested on that video. I will do a quick demonstration of the power options of the card right now. It's on the max and setting. You don't really run the image JSON on options right now because the processor at 37 degrees if it wants to spin up the fan it will do so we will have our image adjacent clocks turned off right now let's start by typing mx demo video stabilizer this is one of the most important tests for me because I'm using it daily at the field. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. As you know, Image Justin TX2 has six core processors, so I will be running a six demo of the video stabilizer. And currently, it's consuming about 3.9 watts. Let's run the test. As you can see on the screen, it's running the demos about 30 frames per second for the screen. And if you want a close up, it's running about 99 frames per second per demo. And it's running really smooth, uh, there's no problem. And let's see what can this device do. Add another 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's now trying to open 12 of the same demo. As you can see on the screen, it's a bit slower, but still it can run all the simulations pretty well. It's now consuming about 14 watts and the temperature is rising about 44 centigrade degrees right now and fun is still not spinning as you can see on the video let's close this demo and run something else for example for in-depth calculations there's a stereo matching demo and it's an important demo for autonomous cars which have stereo cameras on all of their sites. Let's start by running only four of them. Let's switch each of them something else. And as you can see, it can run the demos about 15 frames per second. It's the VGA resolution, two VGA resolution cameras, and it's trying to calculate the depth information from those cameras. Let's do something else. What do we have here? We have feature tracker or view transform. Let's see. We'll copy this again. Three, four, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Oh, sorry, I didn't close this one. It's now a bit faster. Runs okay, 
there's no problem let's close all of them and start this again because it didn't run the same demo three four five six six of them at the same time as you can see four of them images and three of them images and three of them are edges temperature still didn't reach 50 degrees fun usually starts spinning at 50 degrees and you can hold the CP without a problem right now it's 44 centigrade degrees now at idle it consumes about 4 watts let's see what do we have let's do some feature tracking with me. the fun noise you are hearing at the background is coming from the capture computer so it's not related to Nvidia Jetson. It's running really smooth. Six streams at the same time. Temperature is still below 50 degrees centigrade. And as you can see, there is no problem. Let's Close the sample. By the way, it's consuming about 12 watts right now. And close the sample. So, let's switch to NVIDIA JSON AGX Xavier. You don't really need to change anything, you just have to detach one computer and attach the next computer using the same exact cables in my tests <coughs> I've seen that even the Justin Xavier also compatible with the Jason TX1 and TX2 adapter So let's boot it up. At boot it consumes up to 30 watts. It's flashed with Nvidia Jetpack for developer preview. Let's see what is the power option. This power option is max N. Let's see if we have P sensor ready. Yeah, P sensor is ready right now. And let's close this window. So let's go into the same folder. As you can see, there are same demos here. Let's start with just a builder. As you know, even the Jason Xavier has six cores, and I'll start by running. 8 core sorry by 8 samples it's now running 8 samples at the same time no problem it doesn't even care let's close all of them and add more 9, 10, 11, 12 30, 14, 15, and 16 samples at the same time. Let's see what happens. 
As you can see, frames a bit dropped. Uh, it's barely catching up to 20 frames per second for the display. Algorithm running as twice as fast because it has to calculate and crop the frame for the final result. But now, as you can see, it's running many samples at the same time, and it's about consuming 3 watts is about three times of JSON TX2 but if you need this power then it's doing its job really well let's see what can we do let's start stereo matching As you can see, it's running 8 demos at the same time. No problems. 30 FPS for algorithm and 15 FPS for the display. Let's close it. What do we have here? this one. Eight of them at the same time. Not one we run on the chest and text too, sorry. Let's more carefully this time. Third, fourth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Eight demos at the same time. No problems. Just like a champion. Do you even got stuck somewhere? Sixteen of them at the same time. Trying to fill the frame buffer. Oh yes, it's a bit slower now. But as you can see it's running sixteen of them at the same time. You simply can use this processor for airport security, shopping mall security and it will be able to track people faces luggages and other stuff at the same time but as i said on my tests i'm using this algorithm and by the way temperature is still about 40 45 degrees fun is not spinning now it's consuming 35 watts not hot to touch, even cool. It's a real nice processor. Oh, one of them is crashed. Let's close it. 15. All of them are running uh, still below 15 degrees. Consuming 34 watts it doesn't even care. So let's see what can we do. Let's run.
Another sample. Just amazing. Close it, close it, close it, close it. As you can see, it's running all the samples really well. Compared to Amiga Jason TX2, if you need more powerful computer, I can recommend it. But if you need more power saving computer for artificial intelligence at the edge applications for field rovers or drones you can still use even the Justin TX2 but as you know the software stack for the Mini Justin AJ Xavier for its Volta uh, CPU and GPU hybrid computer inside still not ready uh, with the demo applications it's running pretty well uh, now at the idle position it's consuming about 15 watts and that might be an issue for some of the applications so if you want to have more power friendly option you can use Emilia JSON TX2 because as you can see this is really well built computer let's just go crazy come on do you mean crash? yeah it crashes yeah just want to show you that it can it's a computer It's most probably the RAM issue, 16 GB of RAM sometimes not enough to fill all the frames into a RAM buffer um, because of that it crashes and it tries to create the swap file but in the end it will try to run off all of them I'm unable to show you right now but it's running I don't know how many samples some of them crashed here yeah. it was 47 samples as you can see it's really powerful still under 50 degrees consuming 15 watts at idle and it's a really nice well-built computer that I can recommend. Take care.